Obama. No the United States combat mission against is in Iraq President Barack Obama has told an audience of the United States troops their comrades fighting Islamic State is militants in Iraq will not have a combat mission. Mr. Obama said he would not commit to fighting another ground war in Iraq. But he said that the United States had the unique abilities to respond to it including their support for Iraqi and Kurdish fighters on the ground. The United States has already undertaken 162 airstrikes against us in Iraq since mid-August. But Mr. Obama's new strategy allows similar attacks in Syria, and calls on a coalition of 40 countries to confront the militant group. The President's reassurance to soldiers at McDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida, came the day after the top the United States general suggested he would recommend the United States ground troops in the fight against is that the international campaign of air strikes failed. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Gent Martin Dempsey confirmed that under the current plan, the United States military advisors would help the Iraqi army to plan attacks against IS, also known as ISIL and ISIS. The jihadist group controls large areas of Syria and northern Iraq. It has between 20,000 and 31,000 fighters in Iraq and Syria, according to CIA estimates. Stepped up strikes Mr. Obama arrived overnight in Tampa, Florida, where Central Command CENTCOM responsible for the Middle East and Central Asia, is based. After briefings with top military officials, Mr. Obama told an assembly of troops that the American forces that have been deployed to Iraq do not and will not have a combat mission. We cannot do for the Iraqis what they must do for themselves, Mr. Obama said, adding other countries would help with both their support and training. After a decade of massive ground deployments it is more effective to use our unique capabilities in support of our partners on the ground so they can secure their own country's futures, Mr. Obama said. And that is the only solution that will succeed over the long term. Line Analysis Jonathan Marcus, BBC Defense Correspondent A commitment to avoid boots on the ground is seen as the acid test of President Obama's commitment to avoid drawing the United States into another extended war in Iraq. But the United States has already deployed some 1,600 military personnel to Iraq. They are helping to protect the United States diplomatic facilities, operate drones, and train and mentor Iraqi forces. So far these mentoran teams are at the headquarters level. But many experts believe that this will eventually have to extend to units on the battlefield. Senior the United States commanders already envisage a potential wider role for the United States forces. For now this is anathema to the White House which is still selling its new Iraq policy to its domestic audience. But over time, the refusal to deploy major the United States combat units may make more sense than blanket statements about no boots on the ground. Line Meanwhile, Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al abadi on Wednesday rejected as out of the question the possibility that foreign ground troops would be allowed to fight in his country. Not only is it not necessary, he told the Associated Press, we don't want them. We won't allow them. Full stop. The night before the Iraqi and the United States leaders' remarks, is released what analysts described as a video response to the United States moves. The slickly produced, Hollywood-style trailer for a film entitled Flames of War refers to Mr. Obama's insistence that the United States combat troops will not be returning to fight in Iraq. In an apparent taunt, it depicts wounded the United States troops, masked executioners standing over kneeling captives, and declares that the conclusion, fighting has just begun.